ghastly man. Nasty. Really horrible piece Yuck. of work. Ugh. Hey, can you see that bridge over there? Yeah. That is the Forth Road Bridge. It's oh. quite far away in the distance. And basically, it links Edinburgh in the Lowlands to Fife in the Highlands. And to celebrate its 40th anniversary since it was opened, I went along to carry out some highly unusual maintenance work. Stretching one and a half miles, the Forth Road Bridge is one of the largest suspension bridges in Europe. People mainly use the bridge to go on their daily journeys from the north to the south and vice versa. In fact, almost 100,000 cars pass over this bridge every day. With so much traffic passing over it, it does tend to get a little bit groggy. So I've come under the bridge to join Charlie, who's doing a spot of cleaning right now. Charlie! Stop right Hello. there. Hello, how are you doing? Bad. Now, tell me, why does this bridge get so dirty? Well, the pigeons come in here to go to sleep at night, sitting on these ledges. Do a bit of pigeon poop? Yeah, that's what they do. Why does it need to be clean? Because surely the pigeon poop isn't that harmful, is it? Yeah, it is. It can break down the, the, the paint. So, Corrosion could be disastrous here. for the bridge, so regular cleaning is essential. Kick off it as it goes. For holding the trigger, like that. Look, you can see the car. Before the bridge was built, the only way to get your car across the Forth was by ferry. And as the number of cars increased on the roads, so did the queues. So it was decided to build a road bridge. It was a massive undertaking which took six years to complete. To this day, the bridge has the strength to carry the heaviest loads around. the bridge. It was such a whopping massive great steel structure that there was always the worry low-flying aircraft might hit the top of these great steel towers. And so they solved the problem by putting a warning light right at the top and right now the light bulb needs replacing and I have got the job of changing it. Okay now the first stage of getting up there is going in this lift and it's got to be the smallest lift in the whole world. It's tiny and we've got to get me in and the cameraman and the camera so, uh, and shut the door. It's going to be a squash. We've managed to arrange ourselves so that we can breathe somehow. And we're going up 146 metres. And it's like being in a tin can. And as much as I like the cameraman, I'd hate for it to break down. I think we're stopping. We're here. Oh, so we are at the top. And we can breathe. <laughs> There's air, but not much of it. It's kind of tight skins here too. Oh. Very tall ladder. Nearly there. Ah. Oh my gosh, wow, what an awesome view. Have a look at that. Yep. What Sweet. do we have to do? Well, we've got a faulty lamp here. Yeah. You're going to change it. <gasps> okay. You can stand up there now. Right. There, right? Yeah. Right. What? Three clips. Un yeah. Unclip them. Okay, so there's, there's one there. And there's one over there. Yeah. Right. So it's all switched off, so tip it back towards you. Now, if you unscrew the lamp anti clockwise, Okay, that is the light bulb, the faulty light bulb. Right, do you want that? Right, okay, it's a faulty one. I'll give you the, the new one. There's a new one. That's the new one. Not wise, this thing. I figured that much. <laughs> there we go, I've done it. I'll get in touch with Michael and switch it on. 7262. Two. Could you switch the light back on, please? Hey! Good job, Davey. Time to go back down now. <laughs> well, it's getting kind of cold, isn't it? Oh, back on land, it's so cold up there. I think I want something indoors now. Oh. 
People work on the bridge all year round to keep it in good condition. It was nice to know that I'd played a small part in that process. Con, job well done, but it looked mighty cool up there. Oh, it was freezing. Cool as an understatement. But talking of cool, early yesterday morning I went to check out some of Edinburgh's coolest residents. 